morning, everybody, and happy Promotion Sunday. My name is Martha Davis, and I am the Education Superintendent here at Clarendon United Methodist Church. This morning, I want to congratulate all of our students on completing Sunday School this year and give a very special thank you to our teachers and volunteers. This year's Sunday School has looked a little bit different with online and virtual classes and different videos and online resources. Nonetheless, it's been a great year. I want to take a minute to highlight some of the things that have happened this year. The kids focused on Bible literacy and did a chronological study through the Bible. Our youth learned about real life application of scripture. We also had several adult classes, the Home Builders, Good News, Parents Network, Young Professionals, and a study on the parables. We also had a confirmation class of 13 students and 13 mentors. It's been a great year and I want to thank everyone for their hard work and a congratulations. We look forward to seeing you in person soon. Hi everybody. I hope you all had a great week and you're starting to enjoy your summer. I'm so excited to talk to you today. I actually just got off the phone with my mom. You know, she lives in Florida, but I called her because I could not wait to share the good news that I had um, to tell her about. My son Lucas is changing so much. He's talking so much, talking up a storm. And I wanted to tell her all about the funny things that he had done and said today. I just couldn't wait to share that good news with her. But I told her that I needed to get off the phone with her so that I could talk to Sunday school today. So, you know, sharing good news, like with people like my mom or with your parents or our friends at church is really fun. And there are a lot of ways that we can share good news these days. Does anybody read the newspaper? Maybe your parents get a paper copy of the newspaper still, or you read the newspaper or news sites online. We can hear about good news in the newspaper or online thanks to people called reporters or journalists. And sometimes we hear about good news through the Bible, thanks to a different kind of reporter. Today, we're gonna to talk about Paul, and he was one of those reporters. He reported the good news about Jesus's love to many, many people. Paul knew that these stories were important for people to hear. So he wrote letters to make sure that everyone could hear the good news way back then and even today. So let's talk about some things. Have you ever written a letter to somebody to share good news? What was that letter about? Or maybe you wrote an email or you called your, your grandparents or family members or friends to tell them about something cool that had happened to you or something interesting that you did at school or something you learned about. So think about that if you've ever shared the good news with somebody and how you've done it. And let me ask you this. If you're reading about news in the newspaper or the Bible or online, how do you decide if something you read is true? How do you know? Do you think hard about everything you read and maybe talk about it with your parents or friends, think about how you can share good news with people in your life this week. So now we're going to do a closing prayer together. Whenever you hear me say Jesus, please say good news. Dear God, thank you so much for the Bible. It is filled with stories about Jesus good news. Paul couldn't wait to tell the Romans about Jesus. Good news. We are so excited to hear that you love us so much that you sent Jesus. Good news. Amen. Hope everybody has a great week and that we can see each other soon. Bye.